What is up everybody? Liam Herbst here with another challenge called the 30 days of design and it's all about leveling up your Figma skills as well as design skills from that beginner entry level to a pro hopefully in 30 days. Let's get started. So a quick overview, 2020 is the decade of design. 2010s were the decade of code, 2020s is the decade of design. It's the best time ever to learn how to become a great designer. Every single thing that we interact with in the world is designed. And these skills are absolutely fundamental for creating good products as well as recognizing good products. Using restraints will uh, actually enhance creativity and just help you to get started. And mastering design software will be really impactful in creating design more efficiently. And lastly, it's really important to focus on quantity over quality and get over that psychological barrier of producing what may be inferior work, just lower expectations and let your creative energy flow. This is one of my favorite quotes, great art makes you wonder, great design makes things clear by John Maida. So the challenge, the challenge is to design at least one graphic every day for 30 days. I recommend spending about an hour a day. I would do it before I went to bed at night, or, but you can also batch it into um, two or so three hour sessions per week. And the goal is to create a design portfolio project, 50 graphics, improve your Figma proficiency and learn design fundamentals. Now, as I said in the beginning, everything is designed and design is really how the value of an item is communicated. And one of the best things about becoming strong at design is you eliminate being restrained to language to communicate. When you can communicate visually, you can say, you can communicate much more effectively and communicate much more in much less time. Just like this quote states, a picture is worth a thousand words. Figma is the tool of choice. It's free. It's becoming increasingly popular among rising companies. It has a good interface. You can check out these uh, links in the description for some entry level courses in Figma. These are some of the guiding fig, excuse me, some of the guiding principles that I followed throughout the challenge, and I encourage you do, to do so as well. These are John Maida's ten laws of simplicity, which effectively are all about creating simple, concise, clear designs, as well as his three keys. Secondly, effectively using constraint, excuse me, effectively using restraints, which Jack Butcher from Visualize Value inspired me. Uh, Figma and really all modern design software has so many options. By restraining yourself to only a few, it allows you to master them and become more creative within them as well. Getting started, here's what you need to know. You need a project that you're excited about uh, to get started on something you can work towards every single day over the next month or so. You also need to set your restraints at the beginning for what you're going to do. And lastly, you need to take a moment, step back, get over that psychological barrier and be comfortable with producing what may be not the highest quality of work at the beginning. These are some resources I recommend looking into that really helped me throughout this challenge. Now applying design principles to life, I think life design is the absolute most important thing that anybody can do. It's really the thesis of this whole channel and I'm hoping that some of the principles that you'll learn through creating uh, and learning more about design, you can apply to, to designing your own life. So here's an example challenge. Here's what I did over the past 30 days. These are some quick graphics for my blog as well as my personal Zettelkasten, which I'll be talking about in a future video. We have some GIFs at the bottom. And lastly, some YouTube channel assets, which you can see are going off right now. So how I did, I did create a portfolio project, created 84 graphics and designed it in 23 out of 30 days. Um, I feel much, much more skilled and comfortable using Figma and I definitely have a better understanding of some fundamental principles of graphic design. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you do take on this challenge, send me a note. I would always love to hear and love to share and, and work on things together. And please stay tuned for more challenges. And in the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter at LiamHerbst29. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great one.